This is the San Antonio Exchange Terminal, a purely private endeavor initiated by Barangay Captain Eugenio Inyon Jr. or simply Cap Jun of Barangay San Antonio in San Pedro City, Laguna on property owned by his company. It is strategically situated at the junction of Magsaysay Road and the Eslex Tollgate Road, the gateway into San Pedro City, Laguna. It aims to provide motorists or the tricycle drivers operating in the area with a decent uh, terminal space where they could load and unload passengers, especially those coming from their work, coming from the South Luzon Expressway at the exit into San Pedro City to bring them to their homes in San Pedro. It recently grabbed center stage when a 70-year-old woman occupying a 300-square-meter lot that is part of the property under development was arrested by the police and put inside city jail on charges of perjury. The regional trial court found probable cause against her for making false statements under oath. This sparked a controversy on Facebook after one of her granddaughters published a picture showing Adela Manug, the woman who was arrested behind bars. Her granddaughter accused Cap Inyon as having thrown her Lola inside a prison cell. It was a distortion of the truth. Lola Adela, as she is widely known in San Pedro, does not own the property. That she has been living there for several decades did not convey to her ownership of the property. She does not have title to prove ownership. She has not paid a single centavo as real property tax from the time she built a house there several decades ago. Cap June, on the other hand, purchased the property from the legal owner. Everything was in order. His company was issued a transfer certificate of title to convey transfer of ownership. Still, Cap June, the legal owner, exerted every effort to persuade Lola Adela to vacate the property peacefully for more than a year now. He made generous offers as disturbance compensation and helped Lola Adela relocate her house. On July 21, 2015, Cap June made a last visit to Lola Adela to make a final offer. His offer was so generous. First, 500,000 pesos in cold cash. Second, Cap June will build uh, for her a concrete house on a 237 square meter lot near the Alaska Milk uh, Factory just across the bridge into San Pedro City. Third, provide her with store space inside the San Antonio Exchange Terminal where businesses would be opened as soon as it is uh, completed so that Lola Adela will have her own business. And lastly, the icing on the cake, give Lola Adela a 5,000 peso pension every month for a period of five years. This conversation was captured on Cap June's cell phone video camera to prove that he tried everything to get her cooperation. But still, Lola Adela emphatically said, no, and oh, and she said that everything will have to be settled in court. Let's view and listen to this video. Hi, Nai. Alaska, 
talaga sa to lang lang gusto ko lang talaga ma ayoko na po ng gulo kasi unang una alam mo naman po tayo so may politiko po tayo hindi, hindi po pwede na magkagulo po alam mo na yung, ang, ang sabi ko nga doon kasi yung abogado natin ay, ang yayaman dito abogado natin tayo lang naman dito dalawa mahihirapan uh, tapos ang akin naman ayoko na po na kayo po syempre ayoko na mahirapan pa kayo sa ating ano. ang akin ay ang gusto nyo pag aralan nyo lang po na meron po 237 square meters papagawa po kita na yun ang mas magandang bahay dito sa 237 at tapos ang ano may, bibigyan po kayo may kasunduan po tayo na na bibigyan kita ng hanap ng ano ng kita no bibigyan kita ng kita tapos bibigyan pa kita dito ng ano ng hanap buhay para na importante tuloy tuloy po at least unang una Uh, may tiraan po kayo Malaki pong lupa yun 237 Tignan nyo muna muna eh. Tignan nyo muna Kung okay kayo Tapos uh, Pangalawa May uh, May hanap buhay pa ko kayo Pangatlo Bibigyan ko pa kayo ng uh, Pangsimulain Ng negosyo ninyo Na 500,000 Kasi naisa totoo na Hindi ko naman kasi tayo Talaga 10 million pesos Paano ko naman Hindi ko makakaya na Ayoko lang kasi na Na magkakaroon tayo ng No? kakapasuhan pa tayo babayad ka pa ng abogado mo ay nako yayaman ng abogado natin dalawa hindi pa na yun so, yun lang yung akin ano ya pagsipan nyo na ha before this last visit by Cap June to Lola Adela several other individuals went to seek Lola Adela and try to persuade her and convey to her the generous offers of Cap June One of them was Roda Ormides, who knew Lola Adela well. Here is her testimony on what transpired last year. Bago namin siya nilapitan, kami ni dalit ng dalawa ni Ana dyan, Ana Pileras. So, in-approach namin siya na yan ay nabili na ni Kapitan, yung lupang yan. So, ngayon, ang sabi sa amin ni Kapitan, Uh, usapin nyo na na kailangan kailangan na natin yung lupa para mapaganda yung place na yan ngayon, ito si Nanay Adel ang tawag namin dyan ay si Nanay Adel uh, sabi namin Nanay Adel umayag ka na para namang ikaw ay hindi, hindi ka mabadyado sa uh, pagpapalis sa iyo dyan kasi yan, uh, kompleto na ang papeles ni Kapitan pagkakabili ng lupang yan. Ngayon, um, sana pakinggan mo kami. It is very clear that Cap Jun and his company tried very hard to get the cooperation of Lola Adela and give her more than enough compensation, disturbance compensation, even though that the property already belonged to Cap Jun Inyon. Still, Lola Adela insisted that everything will have to be settled in court. She filed a civil case against Cap Inyon for the quieting of title, insisting that she owned the property and that she had the owner's duplicate copy of the title to prove it. The truth is Lola Adela did not possess the owner's duplicate copy of the title and she lied under oath when she said that the copy was with her and it was her proof that she owned the property. With what happened and Lola Adela's landing inside city jail, it is clear that she brought it upon herself. She wanted the issue to be settled in court and the court said Lola Adela will have to face perjury charges because there is probable cause that she committed lying under oath. With this background, the issue about Lola Adela should be clear to everybody that this is a self-inflicted wound that Cap Juninyon made every effort to peacefully and amicably settle the issue with her even though he was the rightful owner of the property.
Lola Adela insisted that Cap June Inyon give her 10 million pesos for her to agree to vacate the property. If you look at everything, this is plain extortion. This is blackmail. Did everything to avoid the ugly consequences of a legal battle. And the legal battle has already started to show that it will tilt against Lola Adela. This is Manuel Boy Mejorada from San Pedro City, Laguna.